With rising COVID cases due to the surges of new variants, the world is even more distraught than before. Through this, I was reminded that we never fully discuss COVID-19 in any of my episodes. Hi, my name is Rohan, and on this episode of the Healthy Human Podcast, we will be discussing COVID-19 and how the virus works as a whole. So let's first discuss the history of COVID-19. In the beginning of 2020, scientists found that this new virus started to outbreak, deriving that its main source was from animals. Now, different strains of COVID-19 have been known to be found in a lot of areas, such as MERS, known as the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Scientists believe, however, that this virus was originally in animals like bats and jumped species to humans. Now, up to this date, we have experienced our fair share of lockdowns and vaccinations, which have led us up to this point. Companies like Moderna and Pfizer have developed vaccines to counter the spread and protect our bodies from the pathogenic virus. We discussed how the vaccines work in a previous episode, if you want to check it out. Recently, there have been new surges, meaning outbreaks of the virus. The virus is able to adapt and manifest itself into new forms, with Omicron being the newest variant. Now that we discussed the history, it's time to discuss the biology of the virus. Like all viruses, COVID-19 enters your body and affects healthy cells. It attempts to replicate itself and spread throughout your body. Anatomically, COVID-19 has a spiky outer layer. It attempts to attach surface proteins present on this spiky outer layer and to attach those to healthy lung cells most of the time. The viral proteins will bind to a special receptor known as the ACE2 receptor. Through this, the virus either kills healthy cells or controls them. The new variant, Omicron, has been seen to, however, not affect lungs as badly. As I aforementioned, these viruses have the ability to adapt. The original coronavirus may not have had the spiky surface as it used to. The viruses have this unique ability to adapt and change their structure in order to best infect whoever or whatever they're trying to infect. On an interesting tangent, I think it'd be fun to talk about how COVID tests work. Almost all of us know the pain of sticking a swab up your nose and swishing it around in some weird liquid. But how does this test work? A swab is first taken from a person's nose or throat and then placed in a liquid known as an extraction buffer. The sample is placed on a paper strip in which there are lines of antibodies. There are three lines, each with their own function. The first line is made up of antibodies that bind to a certain SARS-CoV-2 protein. The second line is made up of similar antibodies. The third line is made of unrelated control antibodies. As viral proteins flow down the strip, they are bound by the antibodies on the first line. Some of the complexes continue flowing down the strip until they are bound by the control antibodies. A positive test shows up as two colored lines because COVID has detected in both places. If there are no viral proteins and the antibodies are all continue flowing down to the control, then that means it's a negative test. Of course, this concept will vary between the types of COVID tests, but this is the general idea. Now for the final part of this podcast, I want to talk about ways to protect yourself from getting COVID-19. Some tips recommended by the CDC include getting vaccinated and staying up to date to your vaccinations, avoiding poorly ventilated spaces and crowds, testing to prevent the spread to others, washing your hands often, covering coughs and sneezes, cleaning high-touch surfaces as regular as you need if you have visitors coming to your home, as well as monitoring your health daily. They also recommend that you get tested as soon as possible after your symptoms start, Uh, get rest and stay hydrated, take over-the-counter medicine such as acetaminophen uh, to help you feel better. And also, most importantly, to wear a well-fitted mask. Once again, this has been Rohan, live on the Healthy Human Podcast. Be sure to tune into the next episode where I'll continue to explore the wonderful world of health. Until next time, stay safe and remember that happiness is the product of good health.